Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Tom Jones and Little Richard Rock and Roll Medley. Let's see what they have to say. I think they're saying Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm coming down with a cold, which is why I have on this beanie. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my ears warm. I hate when my ears are cold. Um, I think they're saying Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. And it's it, Tom is doing a really brilliant job of like matching the energetic soul that little Richard is presenting us. I mean, and I think I read like somewhere that people think Tom Jones has got black in him, but he's not. Um, but he definitely has like some some soul. I think that is very clear. Like he has just been dusted with some some extra soul dust because <laughs> he's like, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Like, you know, he's in it. And I feel like he's the, the vocals are matching as far as the energy and the and the soul that's that's in there. So just an observation. Jenny, Jenny, woo! The the raspiness of Tom's voice and the just the kind of like the high pitch. Uh, Ness of Lil Rich's voice is so nice together. Like they're matching each other energy wise, but their voice, the textures of their voices are so different that it, it blends really well together. It's like, it's like, like room temperature butter on top of like a toasted crostini, you know? It's like the crunch. Anyway, sometimes that's, I just say what I feel, all right? I'm just saying what I feel. A fabulous I, I know this says rock and roll medley but this feels like definitely way more upbeat and soulful than rock and roll it's so upbeat and like playful and fun I feel like sock hop ish like you know all the girls have on their poodle skirts and they're twisting and jiving and all that I'm gonna rock it up at the bottom. A choir robe Lil Rich has on? The color is out of this world. It's out of sight. But is it a choir robe? I don't know, but it has like w huge white, uh, what are these called? Collars? Cuffs? And this is a collar? Yeah. It's so nice, but I'm just wondering what it is. I'm gonna sing it up. I'm gonna bring it up. goodness Tom Jones can just really sing and I don't know much about Lil Richard I think the only song I really know is like is it Tutti Frutti Tutti Frutti oh Rudy. Uh, but I know that he is like known to be a very energetic performer but I feel like Tom is the one taking the lead with the energy maybe because Lil Richard is sitting down playing uh, but Tom has got so much like pep in his step in this one I like it I need to 
dehydrate after that. That was a lot of energy. Send me some loving. I was just gonna say little richard sounds delightful and then here comes on and it's like oh you sound good too <laughs> i just think this is such a a beautiful um do du duet like this the choice to have them sing together because i think who like whoever masterminded this understood their texture their their voice textures just go so well together um yeah, again, I don't know a ton about Little Richard. I'm learning a lot here by reacting to Tom Jones um, and listening to him for the first time ever. But uh, So I don't know a ton about either gentleman and their catalog, but they both just have phenomenal throat boxes, as I like to say. They can really sing. Send it. memory serves me right little richard grew up singing in the church right if not then i don't know where he got this from but you can hear the influence of a gospel choir and like gospel vocals and gospel chords you can hear it you can hear it embedded in his body <laughs> and uh yeah i mean that last listen <laughs> yeah that's church he's taking it to church y'all he's singing us up underneath the church as as the elders would like to say we are underneath the fellowship hall where he's singing don't you know i miss you so bad I think that Tom Jones wins the award for like most swagger. I think he just has like a innate swagger about him that, you know, you can't learn or buy or be taught. He just has this like mm, swag about him, which is why he's in the PDC. And if you don't know what the PDC is, well, I'm sorry to you, but it's fun up over here being a spectator of uh, the panty dropping club. I love it here. I wouldn't change it for the world. Y'all know I love a good lead-in into a song. You know I love a good lead-in. I, I, I don't, I'm not super familiar with this song, but I have heard this song before, and I don't. I didn't know that's where it was going. But that lead-in, good golly, with all that, rah, all that texture, all that growl. Yeah. <laughs> Hit 
that swagger? That swagger. That is swagger. It's swagger. It, it, okay, so I said earlier, like, it doesn't feel like rock and roll to me. This Maybe this is where rock and roll began, and it's just evolved into, like, more of what I identify as rock and roll now. Like, is this where the, this is what the roots of rock and roll are? Because he just mentioned rock and roll in the song, and I'm like, oh, so this is actual, like, the beginning of rock and roll? He's playing this piano like it's the last time he's ever gonna play it. These poor keys are being dun, 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 like he is playing this thing for the gods. My goodness. <laughs> We had to bring out the church cloth for that. That last little. Those boys were just singing. Y'all had to pull out the church cloth because, woo, just sang it, sang it down. Wow. Wow. Good golly, Miss Molly. What a set of uh, two, two pipes we just got to enjoy there. That was fantastic. I loved every second of that. <laughs> Uh, all right, y'all. Go and have the day you deserve. Peace.